Hello Earthlings, welcome back. This is the second video and if you're wondering what the heck is eTaker Vehicle Mounted Fast Charger F2000, please watch the other video and learn the basics of this. What we're trying to do right now is to set up the uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and we will also check the, fe the features of the app. So this is what I'm doing right now is not conventional. I just want that this this small power station would power this this e taker so we can um, connect to Bluetooth and everything. So this is my first time doing this, so I'm not sure if this port is the one that powers this one. So that is my guess, but maybe, maybe we'll see. And also, if you're if you're trying to connect things and you're not sure, uh, I can't stress this enough that you gonna have to like always test which one is positive and negative. Although although this e, e taker F two thousand has um, reverse polarity protection. I still like have to make sure I'm doing it right. So let's connect this one and let's check the app. Now it's uh, connected to power this thing on. We have to press this for three seconds. One, two, three. Oops, never mind. I have to plug this. Sorry. Okay, now power it on. One, two, three seconds. This is my first time turning it on, so bear with me. I don't know what's going on right now. Install the app Smart Life Smart Living, should be available on Android and iOS devices. It has 4.7 star out of 5, which is pretty good out from almost 1 million reviews this is also being used by other devices so rest assured this app will stay here for a long time so here is the app i created my own account now let's add the e-taker to this app what we're gonna have to do is press the button for press the button two times so press it twice, one, two, and it blinks, and then you press it in three seconds, and it blinks rapidly like that. Then check your phone, and you should be able to connect it. You see? It? Uh, what is my password? Now it's connecting. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm going to be dating or getting added to dailies or putting something on the phone. Done. Now it's, it says there's, there's a new update, so let's just update. There's also an option to auto update. Uh, I'm going to get off. You guys know. Yay, it's done. So I'm not going to configure anything right now. What we're going to do is just, you know, take a look at what these things. So this is the alternator port or the car input. This is where it is getting powered right now. You can change power limit 800 watt, 70 amp. This is the solar port. So as you can see, it can do input and also output. That's crazy. This is amazing. There's so many features. This is the e-taker port. Okay, I haven't mentioned that this is like a future future port. So that's a future feature. And this is the DC port. You can do 48 volts. Oh, and wow, you can also you can also limit the current. Amazing. 
so you can do DC output or charge a battery this is when you oh it doesn't work because maybe there's nothing in there charge a power station so you can say 48 volts and let's say 615 amp cancel you know so I'm just trying to show the overview of this this app for now and then next video we'll we'll try to do one of this port and make it you know play with it make it work so pretty good charging power limit so this is when charging current limit you know just I, I don't know there's a lot of things in here the only thing is that all of the ports are all bi-directional you can configure it as an input or output that's crazy even the solar port can be an output this input anyways the purpose of this video really is how to set it up and after that we could I connect this to a real car real batteries and we can play with that this is the LED status when it's connected to Wi-Fi and it's on standby so nothing is connected except for the alternator or the car and it is burning around 9 watts so my recommendation is that you turn it off when you're not when you're not using it because it'll drain your car's battery but the good thing about this is that you can charge your this can charge your car back so I guess there's nothing to worry Thank you. See you guys later.